Hey, Kevin here with Groove Tutorials, and in the next five minutes, I'm going to show you how you can understand Groove Member. But before we get into that, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos we're putting out here at Groove Tutorials. All right, let's take a look at understanding Groove Member. I think this is really, really important. This is true of a funnel. This is true of everything you build with Groove. You really need to take the time before you start to go through the steps to understand what am I building, how does it fit together, and what are the pieces I need to gather before I start building. The planning involves understanding your membership, your courses, or your resources, and, and I'm going to show you a little bit of what the difference is. Apparently, you have to do courses and resources twice, and then your access level. So let's look at <clears throat> just kind of a picture of how memberships work. So I think one of the things that's difficult in understanding Groove and in understanding memberships is, uh, for me, when I think about a membership, I think of sort of an interaction with people and sort of the members are communicating. And so let's just kind of uh, take that idea away. A membership in Groove is primarily and simply a delivery, a content delivery system. So uh, content delivery is, is going to include things like you can deliver videos, you can deliver downloads, audio files, just text, uh, documents. And this is a way for somebody to buy your system, your course, and then get the content. It's not an interactive system. Now, the other thing about the membership in Groove is a membership is then a collection of options. And those options can be a course or a resource inside the membership. So the overall outline there is your membership name. And then inside of it, you see by this example, there's a course one, course two, and course three. And so the courses are collections. You put multiple courses, multiple resource groupings inside a membership. So in this case, then when you think about the course or the resource, and the reason I'm showing it, I'm talking about that differently is sometimes what you're delivering is not a course. A course tends to be step one, step two, step three, lesson four, lesson five. It kind of follows, right? It's, it's very linear. Resources could be just a list of replays, right? So, so one of the things you can put inside a membership is a is a resource. It's not it's not a course. It's just a resource that has all of the replays for the last you know six months or whatever. So that's why I talk about the things differently. Now, inside of Groove, everything is called a course. Inside the membership, everything's called a course. But my point is, you can think of them differently. You can call them a resource, which is just a collection of stuff or a course, which is step one, two, three, four, five. Now, inside of the actual course or the resource, you see a couple of examples there. So the blue one on the left has, inside the course, it has a module. Everything has to have a module, okay? So you start with, inside the course, there has to be at least one module. And the module then can hold two, two kinds of items. It can hold a chapter, which holds lessons, or it can just go directly to lessons. So you can have a module that goes directly to lessons. What is a lesson? A lesson is where the content lives. So every time you want to deliver content, it goes in the lesson. So sometimes you don't have this additional breakdown of chapters. You know, you can end up, if, if you have a module, chapter one, and it just has one lesson, it's kind of like the old outlining principle, right? If you have outline one and then subheading A, and there's only one subheading, you don't need that subheading because it, 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 there's no breakdown. That's the same thing with, with courses. So you can put a lesson directly under a module. So for example, uh, in your course, you might have, it's just a course with 10 videos, right? And it's video one, two, three, four, five, six through 10. In that case, you would probably... And we're going to see how this all builds out. You would have an introduction, introductory module, which is just, hey, welcome to the course and little information about it. And then you would have course videos would be maybe the name of the module. And then under that, you would just have 10 lessons. Lesson one is video one. Lesson two is video two and so forth. In the middle, the orange one shows sort of a different way of seeing it. So with inside, within that course, 
you can see that I have a module with a breakdown of a chapter and a lesson. And in each of the chapters, obviously, there would be multiple lessons. And then we have module two. So you can have multiple modules with multiple chapters with multiple, multiple lessons in each course. And then in course three, it's a resource with, with three modules. And then again, inside of there, you would have lessons. The last thing I'll say about organizing is if you're visual, you can do it sort of like I did on this, this little graphic here. But I think the, the absolute best way to do it is an outline form header. And, and then one is, is the module name and then the sub lessons, just outline your course put it all into outline form. So, you know, that's going to help you build your membership much more quickly. Hey, I hope it was helpful. And I want to remind you that you can get in on a free funnel build workshop. It happens every third Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you're welcome to come. It's free. Sign up, register, save your seat. And we'd love to have you there. We look at how to build a page how to put pages together, how to build a form, how to collect leads, how to deliver a lead magnet, all of that stuff in a two-hour free workshop. So make sure you click the link below, sign up, and we'd love to see you there.